Here is what some of the participants at the Asia Pacific Feminist Forum 2017 had to say on what does this forum mean to them and to the people they work with. This is my first time participating in the Asia Pacific Feminist Forum. For me, it means a lot because you find a space where you have a lot of people who are struggling with the situation where you are also struggling. One is you are not alone. So you feel like um, there are a lot of people out there. Two, it's not that the struggle that you have. You have hope. You have success story. And you have been gone through so far, you know, from the situation where we were um, facing and we make a move and there are success stories, there are some changes. We know that the struggle is still continuing, but at some point it's a space for us to celebrate success and to also feel connected and move together again in the future. I think I really value such a space and that's the same thing that we are creating at our drop-in center. It's about the space because women connected, women in solidarity and support would give us a lot of inspiration, motivations and also persistence. You know, kind of like you can keep on your your movement, your action, your journey, because you know that there are people out there, especially there are sisters out there who understand you, who will be there with you, whether by their present or their spirit. And I really value, you know, this space. I think the Asia Pacific Feminist Forum is an innovative uh, forum to bring together diverse groups of women uh, wanting change uh, in various ways. So we have uh, women artists, we have women workers, we have women migrants, we have women with disabilities, we have young women, we have old women, uh, we have uh, movement women, we have uh, academicians. I think that, that is the difference is uh, it's that this diversity that allows us to celebrate uh, our solidarity but also to reiterate that we need to be together to bring about change and the message is change can be brought about only if we work together to bring about not just cultural changes but structural changes within our village our country in the Asia Pacific region and globally. That's the message of the APFF, working together for real change in the various areas. Feminist movement is, is the most important to build up the movement for justice. And this is only one movement that recognize how intersectionality are applied to the people, especially who are, have multiple identity of marginalized identity. So to join the APFF is to touching the core that I'm working with because I'm working with young women, because I am a lesbian, because I'm working with indigenous who are GLBT and they don't have citizenship status, I'm engaging education system, uh, institution of education and engaging with UN mechanism. I'm working with the people who are living with HIV, who are using the drugs, you know, sex workers who are transgenders. This is a good place for me to strengthen my work, to meet the people who are facing the same issue and to hand in hand how we can move forward where this is a crisis now the fundamental of human rights are destroyed for, you know, in this period. And this is a very good time that we come back to think about all the world are facing violence, especially who are marginalized. And what we are do so far, we step so small step forward, but when some policy came, we just step back so far and then destroy a lot of money. And this is harm for me to see sister and brother who are feminists and then drawing our own path, how we can moving together in the regional level 
and also in global level. And the most important, how can I benefit from the global level and bring it back to the community to empower the people from the community to involving with the global movement on justice. This is why it's so important. And I'm really proud to be here and feeling to privilege to be here and speak on behalf of many people who are not here because they cannot speak English, because they are in the community, because it's so hard for them to leave the community to Chiang Mai, because the, the law are not allow them to move. So I need to do that. But in long term, what I'm trying to do is I'm empower them. And soon, many young people will join APFF for the next time. I'm sure that we will have a lot of indigenous GLBT who use this space to speak about their own issues. This is my I'm dream. extremely <laughs> excited to be at the APFF uh, for the reason that it provides an opportunity to meet with wonderful people that are working in very difficult contexts, that are struggling both within themselves and with systems of oppression that are outside of themselves. To me, it's a great opportunity to learn. To me, it's a great opportunity to share. And to me, I, as an activist, I know that we will not be able to achieve half of our ambitions for this world, which is for a better world unless we come together, unless we connect with each other. So for me, the Asia Pacific Feminist Forum is important for these reasons. And of course, for my personal understanding, when I hear from colleagues, the, the problems that they, then the challenges that they are facing in their own context, it can't, you can't help but wonder, oh, well, so we have it better that way. Oh no, we have it worse, you know, compared to your context. And then you start to understand why the differences are there and what, what, where is their divergence and then where to, um, you know, the cro common problems lie. So you get a sense of trends and you, you, that puts you in a better position to predict also. Predict in the sense that if governments and states are inclined towards this particular direction which is oppressive which is ignoring the rights of citizens and they are small wins or small pockets of resistance it not only inspires you gives you courage also gives you ideas so for me it's it's very important to come together with people who are extremely brave courageous and facing all sorts of problems that we may not be facing just yet we may be facing a different form of it, but it, it gets it sets your imagination on fire. And for me, that is why this forum is extremely important. And that is what I hope to take back when I go back to Pakistan, having a broader context, having more information and knowledge. What can we do at the local level, given the challenges and opportunities that we have? One of the biggest struggles on. I've been trying to battle now is trying to build a so sense of solidarity between feminists. Uh, on the online uh, forums and online uh, comment sections, what you generally see is this idea that femin there are different kinds of feminists and each type of feminist is trying to bring down the other kind. And the need for the R is inclusive feminism. If I had one goal for feminism for 2018, it would be inclusive feminism. And places, spaces like APFF, just make me feel secure and hopeful that this sort of solidarity is possible. What you saw today, we have everyone from uh, disabled people to people uh, from different parts of Asia Pacific coming together. We had, there's no class divide, there's no caste divide, and there is no uh, idea of my feminism is better than your feminism, which unfortunately I see a lot on the online uh, uh, field where a lot of people believe that my sense of feminism is better than your sense of feminism because you are a privileged feminist and I am and I'm a rural feminist and I'm fighting the real issues you're not fighting real issues the, I think feminist dialogue needs to do away with this idea of real issues every issue is an issue if 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 it attacks the basic human rights of a woman if whether I'm talking about access to menstrual products 
or I'm talking about the effects that those menstrual products have on a woman's body. Both these issues are important. Yes, one might be one might be causing way more problems and we need to address both but just because we are addressing one does not mean we need not address the other and that's why a forum like APFF which is about inclusive feminism is a great sign for spaces a like the future. Asia Pacific Feminist Forum is such an important uh, opportunity because um, for all of us who work in any kind of social justice work um, we need to actually you know we, we need to stop sometimes and just reflect um, on strategies um, that we've uh, you know put in implemented uh, we need to reflect on what were some of our successes we need to reflect on um, what did we not do so well so we this space just to pause um, and, and and to have that con have that conversation but have it with a, a, a larger group of uh, feminists from across the region I think is important. I think it's also important that um, when we stop, that we actually rest. I, I don't think that you know those uh, as feminists, it, it seems that you know we always have to be out there on the street pushing and fighting. But if you're going to be here for the long term, it's also important to recognize that um, self care, looking after yourself, and by looking after yourself, you are making the movement a lot more sustainable. Um, you know, it's a as uh, Audrey Lord said, you know, it's an act of revolution. So I think that these sort of spaces uh, are acts of revolution um, and, and we should encourage it. Um, and I think it's important that at, we need to take this APFF spaces locally, you know, have it, have those feminist um, spaces in your small village, in your, it shouldn't just be coming to the regional level um, because the reality is due to budget constraints. Not everybody can be here. Um, so I think everybody who comes to a space like this has a responsibility um, to go back to their homes or to their communities, local communities, and try and create similar spaces like this because this is how you re-energize, this is how you um, develop new ways of working, but also at the same time, look after and give, as, as Kate said today, give each other revolutionary love uh, to be able to continue and inspire the work now moving more than forward. Ever, what, needs, uh, what we need to do as uh, women and sisters across Asia Pacific is to um, know the, um, the value of solidarity. And it comes at a time when we are increasingly being attacked as women human rights defenders, as, um, as movements in our respective countries. And it is very important that we um, solidify our strength in uh, challenging uh, not only the present challenges that we have, but to um, to break down structures because these structures have been there for the longest time and this has bred uh, tyrants, authoritarian regimes, regimes that have um, permitted neoliberal policies uh, that uh, ravage our, our economies and our communities. It is high time that we provide the kind of alternative solutions that we need to do and I believe uh, um, having been uh, part of the movement since I was uh, a bit younger, <laughs> uh, that uh, these dreams, these solutions, these um, this, uh, proposals uh, can uh, materialize if, um, if important convenings or gatherings like the Asia Pacific uh, Feminist Forum uh, are there to provide spa spaces for not only conversations, but also for uh, coming up of, um, of, of a more coordinated uh, and stronger efforts to build this kind of uh, movement in the Asia-Pacific region. So keep up, sisters, <laughs> and uh, persist yeah. and resist. Thank you, Christina. In order to exist, we have to persist, persist and, and resist. resist as sisters. <laughs>